The new patriotic party finished vetting of its presidential hopefuls last week, and even before details of the vetting report are made public, Kobne J. Japon, one of the aspirants, has launched his campaign in Accra. Before Kobne Japon mounted the podium, a leading member of the NPP, Kwame Pien, praised Mr. Japon for his contributions towards the party. In order to take Ghana into a new era, all of us as elders of the party encourage as many people as possible to present their visions and their ideas for helping our party to move forward. Political parties are instruments for grooming young people, for building a party, for leadership in a country. They are very, very important. The sacrifices that were made by Bafo Akutu, Eddie Dongo, Eddie Anto, Aram Bonsa, Darucha, Peter Lagiti, Apia Minka, Gladys Asman. Now we are looking for people to take their place. Of all the 10 people who have registered their interest in leading this part, to sacrifice for this part. Each one of them is eminently qualified and competent to lead this country. We as elders encourage as many people as possible. It's like the blind men who are looking at the elephant and trying to describe the elephant. From our family of NDP, people see the elephant from different perspectives. We encourage these people to go out. It's when your flag bearers, those competing for it, go out into the nation and address different aspects from the length and breadth of the country. That's when they energize the party base. And today, I'm here because I encourage all of them, and I'm encouraging Pamela as a point. Because he has worked for the party, he has suffered for the party. But there's no reason for him to be the flag bearer. It's for him to go around and tell you what he wants to be able to do. I can tell you that Fabre Japon suffered personally. When as a teenager, his father was plucked away from the family home and slaughtered. He could have gone away, stopped going to school, started doing drugs, and been wandering around that the state should look after him. No, he persevered. He went to school. And now we have an engineer. Kobne Japong is seeking to lead the NPP after three previously failed attempts. Mr. Japong, who was suspended by the party as general secretary in 2015 for constitutional breaches, says he represents a new direction for the NPP. That we're breaking dependency on the Western donor agencies. The slogan, Ghana Beyond Aid, rang from the Jubilee House with intensity and vigor. But today, we lie on a stretcher before the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. And Ghana has become, in the eyes of many, a case study of how not to do it. It is true that international climate has been hostile. But how many countries have had inflation skyrocket to 54%? And in fact, food inflation hitting the roof. And our city only just slightly recovering after a wild tailspin last year. These are stark signals of economic distress, and we cannot hide these facts. We've had to endure a painful debt exchange program with our pensioners laying siege at the finance ministry. Our party, the MPP, can therefore cannot afford to put forward those who led us to this state. 
I want to repeat myself. Our party, the MPP, therefore, cannot afford to put forward those who led us to this state and expect Ghanaians to embrace them during the 2024 election. Kwabine Japo also spoke of his vision for the country. One, a lean, wholly downsized government. One that works efficiently, effectively to deliver to the aspirations and expectations of the Ghanaian people. The ministries will be reconfigured to align with the constitutional cap of 19 cabinet to be assisted by an equal number of deputies in addition to the 16 in the regions making up a team of 54. Stakeholder consultations will be undertaken to introduce an upper limit of nine judges on our Supreme Court and possibly remove the retirement age of 70 and allow Supreme Court judges to serve until they are unable to perform their functions. Even before the NPP makes public the outcome of the vetting process for the flag bearer hopefuls, Mr. Kobne Japong has formally today launched his campaign. He has put out a few ideas that he wants to implement if he becomes president of Ghana. He has also invited his fellow contestants to a debate um, so that the delegates can elect the best person for the NPP. My name is Charles Osukumi. I've been reporting for City News.